Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. I'm really, really sorry, but what's happened is I shuffled your cards on screen um, for your reading, for your love reading for the um, the first two weeks in September. And well, it's lucky that I looked at my microphone because it was off, so you couldn't hear me. How I'm doing this reading for your gypsy, it's a, still a gypsy love spread, but I'm doing it slightly differently. I wanted to try this out on you guys first before I start putting up the other readings on uh, for the latter stages of September for the signs, okay? Um, here you can see there are 21 cards, and what we have is past, present, future. So the top six cards here are the past. These three cards here are the general energies around you at the moment concerning love. The top six cards are the past. So this is distant past, recent past. Then you've got the present situation going on around you in these three cards here and then the future. All right. So this will be the future within the first two weeks and what will the overall outcome be for that. OK. Hope that you understand that you've also got your Celtic cross coming up as well. General reading. So around you guys at the moment, uh, Virgo, for love we've got the world and the world can either mean that you're experiencing the greatest love in a situation or it can mean that something's come to the end of a cycle well i think something might have come to the end of a cycle because around you is showing the hermit and this is actually you virgo you're often and i think that with the with the hermit energy if this was the greatest situation some of you guys are experiencing you certainly wouldn't be the hermit we'd have a cheerier card so I feel that there, some of you guys might be doing some inner reflection. It might be over something that came to the ending of a cycle. It might be that you're evaluating because hermits don't just mean to be isolated, not so much isolated, but to withdraw. It might be that there's an ending of a cycle here in which you guys, and this is your card, so you're showing us a hermit here, in which you felt the need to withdraw a little bit, maybe seek some introspection. So looking at the situation, what went on in hindsight, that type of thing with your hermit card. It might be that, yes, still this is about the ending of some form of a cycle in which you're doing a lot of kind of, um, not just withdrawal, but evaluating that situation. So it might be because it's above your head as well. So some of you guys, remember the Hermit is also a thinker card. It might be, Virgo, that some of you guys are thinking and doing a lot of soul searching with this Hermit energy around ending a cycle potentially here. We've got the Eight of Wands around you as well. So the Eight of Wands might reference quick changes. The Eight of Wands in terms of love can also represent progress or it can represent something that happened very, very quickly as well. So it might be communication as well. So it might be that there is, for some of you guys, the ending of a cycle that some of you guys might be evaluating with this Hermit card because of the Eight of Wands. It might be something to do with communication. It might be something to do with a quick change in a situation. It might be that you're evaluating your feelings because Eight of Wands means feelings or to feeling a rush of love, for example, with this Eight of Wands. Let's have a look at the distant past for you guys and love. Well, there was hope in the distant past because you've got the star energy showing here. So a wish might have come true for some of you guys. There was something that was granted for some of you guys with that star energy. You've got a king of pentacles, Virgo. We could read this as you, but this might be a fellow earth sign person, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Usually king of pentacles is a Taurus energy. I feel that here there might have been a wish that came true with this star energy. It might have been around another individual. If it's not a fellow earth sign, it might be the person that would have a trait of the king of pentacles. So sometimes there's two ways king of pentacles can work in terms of love. This can be somebody who's very cautious. They're very... Um, they're very uh, aware of their earthly pleasures, so they like women, men, they like fruit, they like sex especially, they like good food, they like cars. They're very much about the external experience when you get the King of Pentacles. On the other hand, the King of Pentacles can be, can be somebody who's very loyal, they want to settle down, they're a family person. Family means a great deal to them. But remember, he holds a pentacle, which is nice in a way. King of Cups is a lovely energy, but he's all emotion. And we really, the King of Cups can turn into anything. All right. With the King of Pentacles, he's much more of a grounded energy. So it might be that a wish came true with an individual here, this King of Pentacles energy. But we've got the Ace of Swords here. All right. So it might be, and you've got, and it could be that there was a person around you that you achieved victory with. Because the Ace of Swords means victory and success. All right. But it could also be on the ha other hand. We'll read it the first way again. You might have achieved something here with this star card. All of your Christmases might have come at once. Might have been around a person who you've had some form of a breakthrough with, some form of success, victory. In love, when you get the Ace of Swords, it usually says, yes, this is the one, for example. So it might have been that you thought you met your soulmate, maybe with this Ace of Swords energy. 
for some of you guys in the distant past, it might be that you would achieve clarity. And what was that clarity on? Well, the clarity might have been around a king of pentacles. Well, what was that about? Well, maybe this ace of swords is the truth. Because the Ace of Swords represents a mental breakthrough. So there might have been a mental breakthrough that came to you guys around a particular person as well. In the recent past, you guys, well, you've got the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords for me, when I, as a reader, whenever I look at this card, this represents somebody who's bound by something here. Or it represents confusion often, feeling confused. So some of you guys, it might be that you've been feeling confused. It might be for some of you guys, you felt your hands are tied in a situation. There's that Some of you guys, it might be the inability to communicate with another individual in the recent past. Well, the Emperor shows up here. So uh, the Eight of Swords for me is about being bound. But you've got an Empress card showing up here. And when the Empress shows up in terms of love, it represents uh, the greatest love. And it also represents an attraction, for example, when you get the Empress energy showing up. The Empress energy also represents new relationships. So this is a relationship that has the potential to grow. But it might be with the Eight of Swords that there is a certain... Um, when I look at the Eight of Swords, and it's whenever you get the Eight of Swords, you only have to look at what the card is after that to say what it is that you're confused by. It might be that you're confused by this relationship with the this Empress energy. Well, there you go, because of the Ten of Swords. All right, something's over here. So we've got an Empress sitting in the center here. This is great love. This is attraction, but. There seems to be, it might be that there's some distance within this relationship because the Eight of Swords, if you're bound, sometimes it says that you're away from something as well. I think that some of you guys, there's distance with this Eight of Swords over a relationship here with this Empress energy here. And why is that? Because of the Ten of Swords. It might very well be over. So in the recent past, this might be the effects of what's happened in the distant past for some of you uh, Virgo people. That I think that this is um, clarity with the Star card. All right. It could be, I'll read it two ways. Distant past star might have been that wish came true around a fellow earth sign or somebody who seemed amazing as a king of pentacles, grounded, family type of person, male or female, wants to settle down, that type of thing. But I feel that you might have received the truth around this person. So, But it could also be that this was a soulmate relationship for some of you guys because remember the Ace of Swords can mean that you achieve victory and success. You get what you want. Yes, this is the one. If somebody were to come to me and say, you know, can you pull one card to say whether this is my soulmate and you get the Ace of Swords, then more than likely this is a yes card. Yes, it is. Because it's a card of victory and success. But it's also the card of severance and mental clarity and the truth. So for some of you guys, yes, it might have been that you achieved a soulmate relationship in the distant past. There go. But for some of you guys, it might be that you had clarity with that star energy. Star card means healing and clarity comes to the person. Could be over a king of pentacles, a fellow earth sign or somebody with a king of pentacles trait. In which you achieved mental clarity and the truth. In which, in the recent past, there might have been the Eight of Swords. You might have still been confused. You might still be bound to the energies of the Empress. So the energies of the Empress is um, fruition, blossoming relationship, fertility, growth in a relationship. But this might also be that you're bound to this energy. It could also be, I feel, with this Eight of Swords, that you are feeling distanced from this energy. Because with the Ten of Swords, something's been over. With this Ten of Swords, it's failed. There's a situation that's shown some failure here. In the present situation, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles could be you, Virgo. Four of Pentacles often shows either that you're possessive, you're holding on, you can't let go, or it shows that somebody holds back from you. Okay, so it shows a resistance to change. What's going on with the next card? Well, both cards show stability. Uh, you've got Four of Wands and Four of Pentacles. So there might be some stability, but... This, this Four of Pentacles is not a great card when it comes to love because when it comes to love, it represents um, to be holding on. I want to see what the next card is, but we've got the Hanged Man here as well. So I get the impression that some of you guys are holding on this Four of Pentacles to this energy of the Four of Wands. Happy conclusions to love. Why is that? Because of the Hanged Man. just seems that you guys might be suspended into something. When you get the Hanged Man, often this is a card that represents somebody's holding on. And you've got two cards to represent somebody holding on here. You've got this Hanged Man and you've also got the Four of Pentacles. I think some of you guys are holding on perhaps to the idea of this energy here with this Four of Wands. Hence, maybe why in the recent past you've been feeling this. Possibly there is distance with an Empress, perhaps. Possibly with the Eight of Swords. It's the inability to let go again. This card shows up. Sometimes this card shows up where you've got continual thoughts on a situation here. So you might have continual thoughts. It's the inability to forget maybe an Empress here. 
somebody who was beautiful to you, somebody who, you know, represented beauty, growth, great, you know, fertility within a relationship because of the Ten of Swords. I think something's been over for some of you guys here in the recent past, and it might be in the re in the uh, present. There's the inability with the Four of Pentacles to let go of this energy of the Four of Wands. Because some of you guys, it might be that you're waiting for something here with the Hanged Man. Also, we've got the waiting card of the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles also shows when somebody's waiting. They're doing a lot of self-evaluation. I think this is you guys, Virgo, on the cards because you're showing us the Pentacle here. I think this is you here and you here. Two of Wands, okay? So I think that you're waiting. I think with this Two of Wands, also a card about waiting again when you get the Two of Wands energy. It might be that you're doing some evaluation. Should you move on or stay in the energies of maybe holding on to whatever this is? For a king of cups, potentially, all right? This could be a water sign individual. It's either an earth sign or a water sign, all right? If it's a water sign, I think that this might be your energy of the king of cups. So it might be that you guys have achieved great clarity in terms of the king of pentacles energy. And the king of pentacles represents, well, the value. What is this person evaluating? This person's using great common sense. So it might be that you've been uh, trying to achieve some form of cleansing here with the star could be if you're the king of pentacles, you're coming to the situation in terms of great common sense. And that common sense, I feel, would be displayed around the truth. Mental clarity. Because this card represents to have great common sense in a situation. He's one above the king and you're expressing that, you're exploring that, you're acting on that. And that's because of the truth, the ace of swords. Mental clarity that's come to you guys, which is why we've got the ending of a cycle card here. I think that this might be all you here. If not, then there's somewhere in the mix an earth sign or somebody who displays the energies of the King of Pentacles. I do feel you guys have been feeling bound, though, or it might be that you've been feeling a sense of restriction. It could be in growing a relationship. So there's restriction here in terms of growth, and that might be where the mental clarity is coming from because there are restrictions with this Eight of Swords in terms of growing a relationship because of death and ending with this Eight of Swords present situation i feel though you guys still holding on to the happy ever after four of wands possibly wanting marriage engagement because i think with this hangs man you're still holding on you're still waiting for something and i think that you are still waiting for something here as well with this eight seven of pentacles energy here i think with the two of wands also though it might be that you are seeking to evaluate what this situation is, is it still investable because of the two of wands energy could it be that you are actually thinking or feeling in the present situations for some of you go uh, virgos do i stay invested in this relationship or do i go so this would be the relationship here that maybe you're considering should i still invest in this thing even though it's over or do i head off in a new direction and that's because of the king of cups energy so it might be that there is still somebody around you maybe a water sign individual who you still feel might be emotionally invested because this is the type of person who shows unconditional love if that's not the case it might be that you're still looking at evaluating this situation with the seven of pentacles there's a due diligence stage that you're going through here possibly around this evaluation what you're doing in the present situation uh virgo for some of you guys is you're saying to yourself do i carry on investing this two of wands here is bolted to the back or do i take new ideas and go off into the sunset and head off into something new and it could be because of your own emotional intellect on the situation it doesn't necessarily have to be a person here the future the immediate future shows strength. So it's having the strength and inner confidence to uh, believe in yourselves with the strength of card. Sometimes this means patience, so it still means that you're holding on. But the strength card often means also that it will be the need to kind of try and withdraw from this situation a little bit, to use your common sense again, to withdraw, to hold back a little bit on this situation. But you've got the strength card and that ten of pentacles. Okay, so... I think that you're holding back here with this uh, strength energy showing up for love, all right, with this strength energy. Because the strength energy often means to hold back, to withdraw a little bit, to withdraw on your urges. What are those urges about? Well, maybe it's to talk, to communicate with this person here with this Ten of Pentacles. Why is that? Well, because of the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups represents that there's still sort of a little bit of indecisiveness going on. When you get the Seven of Cups in the reverse, it means that you make a decision and things seem to become a little bit clearer. But I feel with the Seven of Cups, it might be that there's a lot of, there's a lack of clarity around a situation going on here. All right. So I feel the strength card is the need to hold back a little bit on those urges. Those urges might be to try and communicate with this person especially if you're holding on to an outcome of, with that four of wands, a situation turning out into a happy ever after. Because with the hanged 
things, man. You're still holding on to something here. You're still being held in a state of suspense. And that's why I feel that in the immediate future, it will be the need to withdraw with this strength card over perhaps this urge to communicate, to um, feel that there could be something buildable maybe within this relationship. Uh, and that's because of the Seven of Cups. I think that there's still a lot of things that are up in the air. And that could be why this energy is showing here as well. The Eight of Wands, when it says that things are still in, up in the air. They're not quite concrete. The overall outcome shows death. So there might be some form of a change or an ending coming in here. Well, you've got the Death card and you've got the Three of Pentacles showing there. All right. Yeah, I think that there might be some endings coming in for some of you Virgos. All right. It might be the death to some form of plan that was being devised here when you get that Three of Pentacles. Because of the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords shows severance and shows, I feel, that some of you guys are cutting something out. We've got wherever death faces, it says that there's an ending to something here. All right? So, it might be a death. Overall outcome is this is an ending, possibly to some plans, some developments, or even growth. Because when you get the Three of Pentacles, it's about moving a relationship to, an, to another stage. So, it might be that there is an ending here. And what is that ending about? Well, the Three of Pentacles, possibly moving the relationship to the next stage, for example, here. Might be if you're married, maybe there's a breakdown of communication here or some form of trying to resolve this situation because of severance with that Five of Swords. So I do feel that for some of you guys, there has been some form of an ending uh, there's a, some form of an ending overall coming in for some of you guys on a relationship. We're going to get this reading again, which is quite interesting. You guys, your general energy is, I feel that this world card suggests that something, it's either come to the ending of a cycle with this world card. So this is another ending card when you get uh, the world card in love. I feel that you guys, it's either that you've been thinking about that, evaluating that because the world is right above that your head as a hermit, or if there's an ending of a cycle, some of you guys, it might be that you felt the need to withdraw around this with the hermit card because of the eight of wands. You might be looking to set new things into motion as well with that eight of wands energy. Distant past shows the star. And I feel that... Um, for some of you guys, it could be that, yeah, you had a wish come true with a star card. It might have been around another individual, either an earth sign or somebody with the characteristics of the king of pentacles. In which, with the ace of swords, you might have felt this person was your soulmate. Ace of swords often shows victory and great success in a situation. So some of you guys, it might be in the distant past, you thought that you found your soulmate here. For some of you guys, it might be that you've had to cleanse yourself. Why is that? Over an individual. What happened around the individual? Maybe there was severance with the Ace of Swords energy. Because Ace of Swords also shows severance. Or some form of mental clarity that came to you on this particular individual showing here. In the recent past though, I feel that you have seen uh, with this Ace of Swords. There is almost a inability with this Ace of Swords to see any type of growth with the Empress card in this relationship. Empresses usually mean growth and fertility within relationship. And the Ace of Swords often means that you don't see. So it might be that you don't see the potential for growth with this Empress card. Why is that? Well, because something's over and done with the Ten of Swords energy. However, that's distant past, recent past. In the recent past, though, in the present situation, some of you guys, and I think that this is some of you, I think this is you, all right? If it's not you, it's the other person, especially if you're the one that's cast them out, Virgo. They might still be holding on, especially maybe if it's the same sort of, uh, you know, it's the same sign. They, it's either they're holding on to the happy ever after. Why is that? Because something's been put on hold here with this hanged man. But it could be, Virgo, that you're holding on to the happy ever after because something's been put on hold with the hanged man energy. In which you guys, Seven of Pentacles, have been evaluating. What are you evaluating? Well, do you stay with the wand behind or do you go with a new passion? And why is that? Is this to do with the person? Are they still emotionally invested with the King of Cups energy? Or is it you that's still emotionally invested with this King of Cups energy? In the immediate future, there will be strength card. All right. Now, it could be that for some of you guys, there is strength in, there is confidence in a conversation that's happening here between you and this individual, potentially, because of the Seven of Cups. Still choices. There's still th something that's open here with that Seven of Cups. For some of you guys, it will be the need to withhold on the urge, maybe to communicate, especially if it's this person that's holding on here that still wants to be a part of this relationship. There will be the urge to hold back on that temptation, I feel, with this uh, energy of the strength card here. 
on perhaps communicating about how you build this relationship back up because of the seven of cups energy and that seven of cups energy represents that there's a lot of confusion going on around you so maybe there is the need to withhold on some of that stuff i feel that the overall outcome is showing the ending of a relationship here all right i think that for some of you guys there will be death there'll be an ending possibly towards improvement or improving on the relationship for example with that three of pentacles because three of pentacles shows improvements it shows a relationship that is moving to the next day so we always see improvement pretty much with three of pentacles yeah it can be third wheel third person that type of thing but also this is the card about making a judgment as well especially if um I don't read this as a third party situation. It could be though, all right? Because often when you get this guy here, he's making a judgment between two people, all right? And it might be for some of you guys as an ending. It could be if the partner is making a judgment between you and somebody else. You decide just to cast him out and you say, him him or her, and you say, just go off with the other individual. Because this, this can be third party situations where you're saying, fuck off, go off with your floozy or whatever it is. For some of you guys, though, it could be the ending to a situation that had the potential to improve because of Five of Swords severance. I think some of you guys are telling somebody to get lost here. I think that you're cutting ties potentially with an individual with that Five of Swords. Five of Swords often shows severance in a relationship where you're getting rid of bad energy. And the Third Swordsman's not always bad. So I do feel that some of you guys are kind of letting go of an individual here. Could be the individuals letting go of you, but I'm seeing the ending of some form of an improvement or talks or communication in a relationship here through severance, cutting ties with that Five of Swords energy. Okay, we're going to get your um, advice reading on this. So, Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Virgo? What is the advice that you have for Virgo? What's the advice that you have for Virgo in the first two weeks of September for love? Show me. Right, there you go. It's got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you do have the separation card there. And it's talking about time apart from your partner is on the horizon for some of you guys, Virgo. Okay, so there is some time apart here. Okay. I think that there is still some holding on of something because something's being put on hold. Okay. I think that in the present situation, this four of pentacles, there is the need to hold on, all right, to this energy here. This for me, speaks about security within relationships because of the hanged man. So maybe there is no 100% situ you know, ending to something here, but there's certainly some form of evaluation going on. Should you stay? Should you go? Because of the King of Cups, one of you is still emotionally invested in the other. All right. Holding back perhaps here. Could be that there are strengths in talks going on here or strength in the family, for example, because Seven of Cups, nothing's being completely settled here with that Seven of Cups. But the overall outcome, possibly the ending to any type of improvement, maybe with that Three of Pentacles because of Severance with that Five of Swords. For some of you guys, it's holding back on perhaps talks around this with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles often shows conversations, communication talks, because there's a lot of decisions to make, too much going on with that Seven of Cups, too much to sort out. That might be why things are slightly up in the air here. But I think overall it's going to be an ending. Either an ending or there's, you know, death doesn't always... Well, yeah, it does pretty much a lot of the time mean a complete ending, but there's an ending to sort any uh, any type of uh, improvement here because of the Five of Swords. And Five of Swords doesn't have to always mean complete and utter severance, but it can mean that you and the partner do not see eye to eye as well. And that's why I think that you've got the overall energy is showing a separation for you guys. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you guys, it is time apart because either there's severance, complete severance, you can't seem to... Even though you know something's over, some of you guys are still trying to work it through or you still want to work it through. But I feel that deep down inside, you know, that even though we do have the feelings of the King of Cups showing here, it might be a water sign around you. There is still this evaluation card, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. All right. Some of you guys, it might be that you're waiting for somebody to come back to you. Two of Wands shows somebody who's still in the game. They still want to make some form of an offer here. They're still motivated enough to see that the situation does have potential here. And it might be that this is around a King of Cups. Whatever it is, whether you're waiting, whether you're evaluating something here, I do feel the overall outcome will be an ending here. And it's saying that separation is on the cards for you guys. Okay, showing up. Okay. Okay, that's your reading, guys. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. And I'll speak to you guys on your Celtic Cross reading. Speak soon.